We are back. I feel like the last three to four videos that I have done, I have been traveling and we have been talking to each other in hotel rooms, not my home office. Feels so good to be back and this is where I'm staying put for a while. So lots more tech videos to come. Today in particular, we have a very exciting one. While I was traveling, I actually saw the news and some demos of Bolt.new. You can see up here, here's another demo of it. And I thought, okay, this is another tool, another AI builder. It's not gonna be that interesting, right? And then I started reading about it and it's started blowing my mind. It was saying that it could do things such as install dependencies, which I don't think any other AI builder can do right now. It was saying that it could create full databases, like basically creating a full-fledged application. So I put it to the test to recreate Spotify. Not just the UI, but actually fully functioning Spotify. And that is what we are going to do today. We are rebuilding Spotify, not just the UI. We're going to be integrating an API, asking it to create us a database. the full-fledged app. This is wild and I'm so excited to dive into, into it with you. Here are your thoughts, leave them down below and okay, enough of me talking about it, let's get into it. All right, you can see here I have Bolt open and I was playing around with Bolt actually while I was traveling and one of the things I noticed is that very quickly you have to pay for a membership or to get more tokens, which I did for the purpose of research, right? I mean, yeah, I gotta test it out. It was really impressive and I feel like I was halfway through building, what I initially built was a Spotify application replica and I was halfway through building it and it was about to deploy and then it ran out of tokens very conveniently and I was like, okay, I need to pay for this. I need to see what's going on. So today we are on a paid plan. Will I keep the paid plan? Probably not long term. I don't think this is going to replace what I typically build in, which is now Cursor AI, which is so weird to say because for eight plus years it's been VS Code. But I do think Bolt is a really great tool to build the start of an application or an MVP, which then I would transfer that code into maybe a different application such as Cursor AI. I'm not sure why I wouldn't build directly in Bolt, but I guess because it's in the browser, I don't even know how great the collaboration skills are, collaboration you know features are in it. Okay, so let's get into it. Enough of me talking here. Let's code. What should we code? You can see there's some examples here. Start a blog, build a mobile app. Let's actually go ahead and try doing Spotify again. Build for me. Spotify, um, use whatever tech stack you want. And let's even, you know what I didn't do last time was find, ask it to find me an API to actually pull in real music. So let's see if it can do that. Find me an API to use for the music. All right, let's keep it simple. I don't even know how this is gonna go because Finding an API is so much more difficult than what I did. But you can see here on the left what it is doing. So it's creating the initial files, updating the JSON. This is really cool. It's actually installing dependencies. This is a huge reason what sets this Bolt new apart is that it will actually install dependencies in the browser. So it's still, you know, it's nice because it's not directly on your computer where it's installing, you're getting AI to install things, which sounds very dangerous, but it's just in the browser, which is cool. But I mean, isn't it incredible? Like added 288 packages in six seconds. That's wild. So now you can still see what it's doing. Creating every file and whatnot. This honestly blew my mind. Like this is something that a year or two ago would have taken six months to a year to build and probably 10 people on a team. Maybe I'm being modest. I mean, listen, there's still, we haven't gone through the code, so maybe I am being dramatic, but it's really incredible just to think how quick it can do what it can do. All right, let's go. So now it's telling us how to start the application. It's actually starting it for us. This is actually better than what I, I built initially. This is incredible. Okay, so here's what it says. I've created a modern Spotify phone with the following features. Dark UI, fully functional music player, Okay, so now to make this fully functional, you'll need to sign up for Jam, Jam Endo API, replace your client ID, and then try that out. Okay, so let's try, let's just like explore for a sec here. Hmm. Another thing I noticed is that none of these actually work. Let's ask, like before we even get to the API part, let's ask that. Why of the I don't know, maybe that's a silly question. I mean, I... okay. 
The buttons don't work because we need to implement the actual audio playback functionality and track progress. So this is one of the things I noticed as well that is a pitfall. It's one of those things where it's incredible. It's probably the best AI builder I've ever seen or played around with, but you do still have to guide it there. It's one of those things where it's not just going to right out of the gate build this fully functioning app. You have to still guide it and you realize, okay, this is a bug. Like even when I was building it last time, I ran into quite a bit of bugs. We got there in an hour, I think or so, but it, it did take quite a bit of time. So let's see. Okay, so it's made improvements. We're reloading. Hmm. I think what we need to do now more than anything is let's try and sign up for this API. Let's see if it's free. This looks a little interesting API. Let's see here. Um, is it free? Your account. Create an application and get credentials. Okay. Sign up, oops. Sign up. Okay, let me do this and we'll be back in a second. So what I did was signed up, it was really seamless to sign up actually. I think I got the client ID, it wasn't labeled as such, so we're gonna just play it by ear here. So what I'm going to do is, because if you go here, you can see I'm deleting this API key right afterwards, so don't even try using it, it's kind of pointless. But here, I'm gonna copy this. And be like, this is my client ID. Can you replace it? This feels too simple to work. I'm very skeptical, as always. Let's see. But it's going. Well, that's loading. Let me go back here. Yeah, because this is the, I'm guessing this is the client ID. I mean, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's go here. Oh my goodness, this is actually incredible. I'm kind of blown away right now. So let's try playing a song. I'm speechless, I'm actually speechless. This worked so well. Still the buttons aren't really working, so we have to kind of figure that out, which is an easy fix, I believe anyways. The main thing is though, it created this beautiful, UI, and I think there's a back end as well. We can go in the code and take a look. We're using TypeScript, Tailwind. Well, I guess there is no need for. Do you think we need a database for this? I think we do, but let's see what it says. If you wanna add these features, then we would need a database. Things such as user accounts, authentications. Um, add a database. So we can save, save like songs. This is wild. Okay, so we are doing a database with what database? Add it, add Supa for liked songs storage. I'm not actually familiar with Supa base. Supa base, are you familiar with that? Anyways, let's see what happens with installing it. Here we go. This is wild. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster because you know, if you've worked on a team with developers or even if you're not a developer, but work in the tech industry in varying degrees, you know how long this takes. And the fact that you can do this in, I don't know, we've been doing this for under 10 minutes is pretty crazy. So let's just see, this is the last thing we'll do is see if the database can get installed correctly and running correctly. Now, obviously there's a lot of things that need to, let's see here. Okay, we need to create a Supabase project and then do that, which is very simple. I'm not gonna do that in this example because it will take a bit of time, but I just wanna go back to the first prompt I shared. So if you wanna build this as well, this is what I shared. Build for me Spotify, use whatever tech stack you want and find me an API to use for the music. That is it. I'm really impressed, honestly. I don't know, what do you think? Am I overreacting here? This is pretty cool. The fact that you can, now the preview's not working. Let's see. Refresh. Come on, preview. Should run the app for me. The fact that it takes so little time. Oh, here, yeah. Build to fetch like songs. Oh yeah, that's fine. Now we're having problems because we didn't fully integrate the database, but this is so useful, especially if you are someone who 
I mean, aside from being a developer, which is stating the obvious, if you are so Okay, I got cut off at the end there, but what I was trying to say is this is pretty impressive. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Leave them down in the comments. Let me know if you've tried Bolt New. As I mentioned, I was doing the paid version. I'm definitely gonna downgrade it just because it's not something I'll use every day, but I am really impressed by it. It's pretty incredible if you ask me. All right, stay tuned for next week's video. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.